<laughs> How are you doing? Welcome to the weekly woodworking wrap up review episode number 44. I'm your host, David Petruto, the drunken woodworker. Chuck, knock it off. <laughs> and this is the show where we highlight active woodworkers in the community and talk about the latest woodworking news and events. And today we're going to show off some of the coolest woodworking videos that's happened in the past week. How to make this particular cutting board in 20 minutes. I got a big announcement for you and much more. So grab a drink and stick around. Mmm, that is good. Today I'm drinking Ellie's Brown Ale from the Avery Brewing Company in Boulder, Colorado. That's my first time having that and that is really good. It's got a nice little brown dog on there. All right, let's talk about the big announcement right away. Why make you wait? So me. That's me, the drunken woodworker, Jimmy Diaresta, and Bob from I Like to Make Stuff. We started a new audio podcast. It is called Making It. There's a link down below to our brand new website. And from there, you can subscribe to the podcast or even listen to it on the website itself. But you can subscribe through iTunes or any of your, whatever your favorite podcatcher is. And it's just every two weeks, the three of us, we get together. And we talk about making stuff. We talk about design and creativity and and it's more than just woodworking. We're talking about everything. It's 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 what inspires us and creativity and design. I already said that. But it's 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 not a woodworking podcast. It is a making stuff with your hands podcast and it it's really cool because these two people I'm very inspired by them and I'm so happy to be working with them on this show. So it's really cool. It's called Making It. The link is down below. You're going to want to check that out. It's great. Um, we're going to try to keep the show within like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Perfect for your ride to and from work or while you're in the shop. It's a, it's a, it's a good fun show. So you want to check that out. Mm. All right. Micro Jig. As some of you have noticed, I have a new sponsor on the show, and that is Micro Jig. I've been using their products for a long time, a couple years now, way before they were a sponsor. So I'm not just whoring myself out there, and I really, really love the gripper. And um, amongst their, their other products. They have a contest going on right now on their Facebook page where you could win a $500 gift card for Lowe's. And all you have to do is post a photo of you and your gripper and tag a couple of friends and you are on your way to winning a $500 gift card from Microjig. Good people. They, ah, just, I just love working with them. All right, did you guys see my video that I put out last Friday? It was making this big honking cutting board. This thing is like, it's, it's over five pounds. It's huge, it's two inches thick. Uh, in the video, I have a little stopwatch going on to show you exactly how much time it takes. And it's 20 minutes of actual work time. Now that doesn't include glue drying and the finish drying, but actual time of hands on is, is 20 minutes. And also at the end of the video, I do this little calculator. I take the cost of materials and I show you what I'm gonna sell it for and I show you how much you make out of it. And I'm gonna try to do that a little bit more with my projects. Um, so, but sometimes my projects are made from just the scrap bin, so I don't know exactly the cost of materials. But when I do know what the cost is, I'm going to post it in the video. Why am I drinking out of the bottle? Like a, like a Sasquatch. Oh, uh, yeah. You see my hat? See what that says? Diresta. Thanks, Jimmy, for sending me the hat. Hmm. It is just beer everywhere. So back to the cutting board. So in this, in the video, I use a new finish that I've never tried before. It is by General Finishes and it's called Salable Finish. And usually when I make cutting boards, I'm using a mixture of mineral oil and paraffin wax. And I'll, and I'll melt it down and mix the two together and then coat the board with that. But, or uh, you can buy just butcher block oil, which I, I think is pretty much the same thing. But this one, I tried to use the uh, general finishes sellable finish and it leaves it's a it's a it leaves a film on there so I think it's going to be more durable I haven't put this through the wash yet uh, it's a little bit shinier um, but I think it's going to be a little bit more protective and probably less maintenance um, I'm going to do a couple tests with this and see now 
I, I, I have sold these before in the past for 70 bucks and that's what I'm going to price this one at. And when I do sell them, I have a little like care for your cutting board card that I add with it. So uh, in the past, it's been mineral oil and paraffin wax. And so I would say, you know, every so many months, you know, add a little bit more mineral oil to keep your board nice and fresh. And for this one, uh, I think it's the same. It's going to be the same thing. Uh, I think you could... You know, as as the as the finish wears off, you can just put some more mineral oil or and or wax on there. We'll see. Uh, this is a new finish for me, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll find out what happens. Time for some videos. I got a lot of videos for you this week. This is a good show. This is a really really good show. As far as content goes, real good show. First video: NYU's interactive wooden mirror project by Tested. Wow, this is super cool. This crazy wooden mirror. And there's a camera in the middle of this wooden mirror that senses your motion and flips up these little wood pieces. I just love this. It's a cool project. It, it blends two of my favorite things, like technology and woodworking into one. If you're not familiar with this channel, Tested, it's a fun channel. Uh, it's hosted by the Mythbuster guys, um, Adam Savage and that other guy. Uh, but it's a good fun channel. There's lots of lots of good stuff on there So you're gonna want to check out the interactive wooden mirror project mm -mm -mm. Very very good stuff. All right next one my buddy Jay Bates build a dog house Crap this thing is huge. You could fit like 18 wiener dogs in here comfortably It's all plywood construction and Jay's teaching skills through video is just Phenomenal, good stuff. And he's got extremely detailed plans available for this dog house. You're gonna to wanna to check this out. Good stuff. I love dogs. Mostly I just love my dog. I love your dog too. But uh, check out this video, Build a Dog House by Jay Bates. Jay, here's to you. Good stuff. I don't say good stuff that much anymore. I think I stole that saying from somebody else. So. Once I realized I did that, I stopped saying good stuff. Anyways, good stuff. Oh, speaking of stealing, anybody see the sweatshirt that somebody posted a, a couple days ago and it's got a saw blade on there and it says make something? Like, a, it's a total ripoff of, of my work. And uh, I, I never actually trademarked the make something uh, uh, saying and, and, and graphics. So I don't actually own that property, so there's nothing I can do to take it down, but it's sad. I don't know why people got to steal other people's ideas. Next video, make this classy razor stand by Bending Wood from Steve Ramsey. If you subscribe to this channel, you probably already subscribed to Steve's channel and you probably already seen this video. But I really, really like this design. It's super cool and it's a very manly project. And I've been looking for a reason to do some bent wood lamination and this is perfect. I have a craft show coming up in Cleveland in December and it's called Manly Mart and it's it's a craft show for men by men so I'm supposed to make all these things that are geared towards men and if you have any ideas for me that uh, I, I can use to make these little craft things for men let me know and this is definitely one that I should do this little classy razor stand uh, bent wood lamination by Steve Ramsey good stuff Steve how you doing got to meet that guy a couple months ago Good dude. Good, good dude. All right, next video. So What by Ted Alexander. Check out this beautiful walnut and poplar sewing box. This is just, it's gorgeous. It's got a CNC inlay on the top. Just a really good looking box. And I don't think I featured Ted on the show before. So what's up, Ted? Welcome to the weekly woodworking wrap up review. You want to check that out? So What. Clever title. Clever title. All right, now I got to give a couple of heads up to my new podcasting co-host. So these next two videos are self-serving. Next video, how to make an LED sign with Reclaim Wood by I Like to Make Stuff. This is, uh, this is Bob from I Like to Make Stuff. Bob is the co-host of the new podcast we are working on called Making It. And this is Bob's latest video. And he's using the new carving machine in this video made by Inventables. Now, if you remember, 
I have a CNC router called the Shapeoko and it's made by Inventables. And this company Inventables has just released, they haven't released, but they just announced this new machine called Carby and it's through a Kickstarter program. And Bob is using it in this video to make this LED sign with reclaimed wood. And I also have a collaboration project coming out with Inventables using the Carvey machine. It's a sweet little router. The whole thing is enclosed and it's really quiet. So it can actually sit in your office on your desk. Dust is not going to get everywhere and, 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 and you can, and it's not, and it's not real loud. So it's, it's a, it's a cool, cool new thing from Inventables called Carvey. So check out how to make an LED sign with reclaimed wood by Bob from I Like To Make Stuff. What's up, Bob? And next video. This one also by my co-host for our new podcast. This is Jimmy Diresta, Tree Swing. And this is on the Make Magazine website. And basically, Jimmy goes out into the woods in upstate New York. He finds a tree that a beaver chopped down, damn beavers, and then makes a cool, sweet ass looking swing out of it. So you're gonna wanna check that out, the Diresta Tree Swing. If you're not familiar, which you probably already are, but if you're not familiar with, check out the Diresta YouTube channel <laughs> amazing stuff and also check out the make magazine youtube channel because they also have a bunch of awesome stuff on there so good collaboration there all right let's answer our tweet questions using the hashtag wwwr and the first one comes from ali matthias wando has officially announced his marriage during last weekend so congratulations to rachel and matthias that's not really a question but i'll take it and so congratulations to those two Let's say I'm from Toledo and, well, where can I buy hardwood without ripping it out of my house? From Tristan. There is an awesome hardwood dealer in Toledo called KenCraft. And it's a family owned business and they got a lot of domestic woods and they got a lot of exotic woods and that's where I get all my supplies from. So you're gonna wanna check out KenCraft. I'm a little addicted to your social media. My question to you is what's your favorite baseball team? The Cleveland Indians. You said we could ask you anything for the weekly woodworking wrap-up review. What do you think about my first YouTube video? Nice try, Corey. Oh, anyways, it's awesome. Ned says, why do you hate Halloween? For all the obvious reasons. So for like 10 years, up until a couple years ago, I lived in a college town. And Halloween just meant you dressed up real slutty or you dressed up like a jerk face and then you walked around town drunk all the time. And then Matthew asked, do you like cheese? The greatest food of all time is Cheez-Its. Last question from Bob from I Like To Make Stuff. Why do you like conga so much? I don't have to answer that because the answer is obvious podcast that came out in the past week making it hosted by david Pachuto, the drunken woodworker bob from i like to make stuff and jimmy diresta from diresta we have a new podcast it's called making it and we just talk about design and creativity check that out and then the modern woodworkers association episode number 63 with my buddy vic Teslan. and then wood talk number 204 i got a few t-shirts left I'm out of a lot of sizes. I'm sorry. I'll order some more soon. I'm going to order stickers soon. As soon as I remember to get on my computer and order stickers. And I got a new podcast. As I've mentioned many times, please check that out. If you're new to this channel, I put out new woodworking videos every week. If you like what I do, you can buy me a beer at this link here. And today, I would like to thank Jack Helm from North Carolina. Jim Torrey from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan, I should say. Aaron Douglas from Rhode Island. Dude, thanks for that generous donation. James from Cabot, Arizona. And Chase, you don't have enough vowels in your last name from Texas. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Be safe, stay passionate, and make something.